Hello, this is R-I-C-K-Y, the Android guy. Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to set up your new Gear S3 watch with a Galaxy or Android device. Now, it's pretty a simple setup, uh, but basically you have to get the Gear Manager. Now, that's going to be from your Galaxy App Store or the Play Store, or if you're beta testing it on iOS, on obviously the App Store. So here's the thing once you get uh, this app you will then just say connect to gear now on some Samsung smartphones they even recognize this beforehand and allow you to connect to it beforehand because they recognize it so that's an easy setup so if you do have a Samsung phone just do it that way and it's easier but if not let's just do it the old-fashioned way connect to gear turn on Bluetooth and now it's going to be searching for it and I do have a couple of gears here but it did find the right one so I'm going to tap OK to hit the check mark and then these two will start connecting they'll start setting up they'll prepare to connect and if there is some software that needs to update either on the gear manager in order for it to work or on the watch itself in order for it to work it will download it so my recommendation is when you set up the smartwatch make sure you're in a Wi-Fi area just so you have a smoother transition of setting it all up and you're not waiting for a long period of time. And so upon the setup, uh, you'll get prompted uh, most likely by you know making sure that you accept everything um, as well as just making sure that you know you have everything up to date besides the app that it might ask you oh we'll download you know you have the eBay app download the eBay gear app so you can bid on apps and such as that so first we're going to do the agreements and that's just basically being able to use S voice finding your gear and finding your phone so you can find each of them to find the other and then you can also learn how to use the watch so since it's your first time I'll actually show you guys the full setup now I would normally click X to go away from it so you don't have to uh, go through this again if you had not but swipe this way to go to your widgets swipe back to go back to your face swipe to the left to go to your notifications and hit the back button right here which is this one over here to go back swipe down to go to your quick uh, menu which is your music your call log if you have the uh, frontier and not the classic um, your airplane mode your do not disturb your vibrate or sound and your brightness setting and then you can hit the home button to go back home or to view all of your apps so pretty much the same as uh, from before so pretty much the same all around you can cover your screen to basically uh, have it go off as well and that's it that's the steps from the gear so it hasn't really changed since the last one and so we have that uh, show while using the phone basically so your gear notifications can show even if you're using the phone I usually keep that off I usually don't like all apps going on here too I select mine so like uh, you have to think of which apps you would want to have on your wrist and which ones might not need to be that important so if you have any video chat service or instant message you want to probably have those on um, you might not want to have uh, certain things though uh, Gmail I don't know why that's not on by default but that would be one that I would recommend uh, group me if you have anything like on group me hangouts I use all the time so these are different ones you'd want to set up uh, your apps for even if you want to know your Instagram you can do that I don't need to know the Instagram uh, one for me personally but those are different examples of apps you might want to or might not want to have on there so uh, Twitter no nah, I don't need to know that right away so that way you know you can you gauge which apps you're going to have on your wrist and which ones you're not uh, another one I don't like to have is Facebook because I feel that it would go off too much and then next 
and now your setup is complete so once your setup is complete you do go to the main page so you can see uh, the gear uh, s3 comes with 1.6 gigs of free storage the rest is taken up by the built-in apps uh, your RAM without doing anything is at 255 so not too much RAM 91% uh, battery out of the box so that's pretty nice uh, and it tells you different apps you might want to uh, start using so that's another thing you can go for and also the settings section uh, you have here quick messages is probably the first thing you want to set up as well as auto call forwarding if you have the frontier version so it will forward all phone calls and text messages while you're away um, as well as you can send content such as music um, and pictures to your gear so you have that ability as well and you can rearrange the apps if you want here and of course change and add your watch faces comes with a pretty good amount of watch faces starting off but definitely if you want to get more you can definitely find a lot at the galaxy app store all right guys hopefully you like this video on how to set up the gear s3 if you have any questions please feel free to ask thank you as always for watching this has been ricky the android guy